and foremost, I'm going to give you an overview of the Horticultural Sciences Department here at Johnson County Community College. This department is unique in that the courses, certificates, and associates degree we offer are not duplicated elsewhere in Greater Kansas City and Douglas County. And uh, since the department inception in 2006, I am the only full-time faculty in this department. However, there is a uh, there is a um, a team of highly qualified, equally dedicated adjunct faculty and staff who work tirelessly with me every day to promote and develop this program. We offer. 19 different courses covering major specializations within the field. We also have a transfer agreement with Kansas State University, and our program has done well because of our exceptional teamwork, uh, support from our dean, our students, and of course, support from you, the community. Thank you very much, okay? As for enrollment in 2015, we had 404 students enrolled in various classes. That's about a 16% increase from 2014, and I sincerely hope this trend will continue. According to the local green industry leaders, our industry is not only facing a challenge of finding and retaining quality crew members, but also finding and developing graduates with ability to move up the ladder to higher level management positions. With the need for society to shift to more ecologically sound and environmentally sustainable practices, the need for horticulturists, educated and intensive management of horticulture systems will increase. Our science-based curriculum provides our graduates with solid foundation to work within an increasingly complex and diverse green industry. Being the only horticultural scientist program in this region, we owe it to the community, to the students, the green industry, um, to provide our graduates with the required credentials to lead this industry. With your support, we hope to continue on this path of unabated success. Now regarding the theme, I always introduce the theme also before I introduce the speakers. The theme for today is Integrated Landscapes for 21st Century Horticulture. Urban horticulture, as you know, is gaining more and more attention as value of green spaces to environmental and human health are being explored in addition to the ornamental value. Plants, of course, are key in the long-term sustainability of urban landscapes. According to a recent publication by the Federal Highway Administration, there are over 30 million hectares of aesthetically managed landscapes in the United States. This includes urban landscapes, suburban landscapes, and highway corridors. Millions more hectares of landscaping will be added in the first quarter of the century. Recent ecological studies have found that landscaping choices can affect biodiversity in urbanized areas. There is concern that conventional approach of landscaping with turf and ornamentals could affect biodiversity and exclude native plants and insects, insects and animals. Native plants share an evolutionary history with native insects and other organisms, and therefore, several conservation groups and US federal and state agencies have recommended the increased use of native landscaping plants to support biodiversity in urbanized areas. Planting native species in manicured landscapes has ecological benefits, but poses several challenges. To date, very few native plants are available which meet the conflicting demands of ecological function, ornamental value, and commercial viability. No doubt, invasive exotic ornamental plants can affect native species by interrupting natural ecological processes and plant insect associations and much more. Therefore, attempts should be made to keep these out of the landscape. However, not all ornamentals are invasive. When it comes to landscaping, an interdisciplinary approach is needed. Also, it's important we use plants, native and ornamental, to available, uh, to, um, that are adapted to a variable climate and to think along the lines of ecosystem conservation and best management practices. These are some of the topics that will be discussed today at this event. I hope such conversations will increase public awareness of this issue as we move into the future. But that being said, we have, uh, I want to thank a few people before I introduce the first speaker. We have uh, high school students in the audience with us today. They are students with, from Olita East with Professor Brooks Nosek. Brooks, thank you, where are you? Thank you, Brooks, yeah? Big round of applause for them. <laughs> students from Northwest with Professor Greg Cranky. Greg, where are you? You're somewhere, I saw you. There you are, okay, thank you. Um, and Professor Timothy Oberhelman. Tim, Tim, where are you? I saw you as well. Thank you for, for, for being here with your students. And Tim is actually one of our speakers as well. He's gonna talk about green collar jobs later. Um, yeah, okay. 
Now, these are our College Now partners through JCCC's College Now program. We offer one course to high schools in the Oleta School District. So thank you for being a part of our program. Thank you. Um, next to, uh, okay, next are our sponsors. Of course, without their sponsorship, we would not be able to hold this event every year. And these sponsorships, of course, provide scholarship money in addition to the food and all this, you know, and everything else, all the cost. So Ball Horticulture Company, and of course, Jeff Gibson is our plenary speaker. Jeff is here. Big round of applause for Ball. <laughs> Hermes Landscaping, Ryan Lawn and Tree, Suburban Lawn and Garden. Big round of applause for them, too. Thank you. <laughs> Family Tree Nursery, Loma Vista Nursery. Another round of applause for <laughs> Hen House Markets, where I shop every day for lunch for my lunch salad. They were, you know, they are one of our sponsors, and of course, West, uh, Western Nursery and Landscape Association as well. So, big round of applause to all our sponsors. <laughs> also, a big thank you to Deb Kanutsen. She's the JCCC's event planning manager. She organizes this entire event. Randy Breeden in publications. He comes up with all these wonderful publications, and of course, Barrett Beasley, production manager of the video services you see here. Thank you to all of them as well. Now, most importantly, our students, our horticultural sciences students, thank you for being here. Where are you? Okay. <laughs> horticultural Sciences Students Association and students with Minty Kinnaman. Minty is a manager of student life and leadership, and today they're in charge of registration. They're going to take turns and do the registration for us. So big round of applause to Minty and her students. And also students from the criminal justice program um, under Kay King and Frank Galbrecht is helping us today. So big round of applause to all the students who are here today, high school and JCCC students. Thank you. 